Eddie, a few days ago at practice, your friend Keanu Hill specifically pointed you out as the defensive back corner that he loves to go up against the most yeah. and citing that you make him better and he probably helps you get better too. What, what is it like to go against this core of BYU receivers in practice on the daily? Uh, it's, it's great for me because I get a lot of different types of receivers and everyone I go against. Uh, you know, Cody is a finesse receiver. Um, I didn't play against him in the spring, but playing against him this uh, this fall camp has been good to get to get get to uh, work more patience with him, just because I know how savvy he is and in getting into his routes. Keanu, a bigger receiver, where I might have to use some of my strength um, and stay more patient as well. Chase is a, a receiver that could run. We got Darius, who's a receiver that could do like a lot of things. Um, he could run. He could getting out of breaks fast. We got Parker that's super fast. Uh, and we got Keelan. He, I mean, he's, I think he's versatile as well to where he could beat you deep or get get out of a break faster than a DB. So I think with this receiving court, I just think uh, I'm getting the best work I could be getting. Like, around, like anybody in the country, I don't think they have as deep as a receiver core as this as far as how versatile like the whole group is yeah. yeah not everybody wants to be a defensive back Eddie because often it's an underappreciated position yeah. it takes a certain level of swagger to go out there and do that so what is it about your mentality and your experience that makes you feel like especially in this defense now where they're gonna be like you're on an island Eddie you're out there alone you're doing the thing we need you to step up how do you handle that pressure and, and work through that um just trusting in what I put in like the work I put in like since I've gotten here, since I've been playing football, you know, like you you just got to take that, take it with full confidence and uh, and just uh, go out. And, and at DB, it's for sure a confidence thing. Like you can't go out there second guessing yourself, worried about the last play, anything. And especially in the Big 12, you can't worry about if you got scored on last drive, you got to just go with the next play. And I think uh, like this upcoming season like it's it's big for like to just have that swag and confidence like and not care about what happened last play rather it was good or bad like even if you made a good play you know it's next play because they're coming yeah, yeah. this cornerbacks room and I, I talked to Gennaro Guilford recently mm -hmm. and, and he kind of focused on relying heavily on you and Jacob and Mo Bamba to kind of step up and, and be the leaders and it's you three primarily as as the main guys but because there is more pressure on you um, and you have to be on the field longer, how, how has that changed your preparation through camp, knowing that okay, I, I might not be able to get subbed out as quickly? I'm going to be on the field for a long time. Uh, I would say I'm kind of used to it because at Weaver State, I play every snap of the game really? unless it was a blowout. So, uh, And I trust in like Sky, Coach Phyllis, and Kobe and everything that our strength guys put us through like to – have me uh, have the ability to play 100 players a game if I have to. Like, um, they, they've they been preparing us right. I'm, my body is the best it's felt since I've been playing, like, actual football games in college. Like, and I just feel comfortable with my speed and everything that they've got me ready to do. So um, I would say, like, I trust in, yeah, like our strength and conditioning staff and the, those – those uh, doctors in there. So, yeah, for sure. I feel good. Um, I'm, I'm ready to play 100, 100 plays. Yeah. We need to get everybody on the Eddie Heckard plan right now. Can we make that happen? What's that plan? <laughs> <laughs> What's that plan? The 100 plays a game plan. That, that's... Yeah, I mean, I just love football. I think, if, I mean, I'll, I don't ever want to come off the field, especially, I mean, winning or losing. Like, if we losing, I'm trying to come back and make a play. If we win it, I want to keep making plays. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to play how many plays it take. Yeah. Okay, two more quick questions. Uh, number one, what makes this cornerback's room uh, under Coach Guilford different than those that you have competed with at Weber State? Um, I see a lot of similarities, and um, I feel like we all, we all have something else different to offer in the room. Like, I feel like I'm more of the vet. I'm more like the backbone of the group. I feel like Jacob is more the savvy person, the one that 
that has like all intangibles. He could do everything. Uh, he could tackle. He could cover. Maury is like the most athletic in the group. Like he can run, jump. He he can make that big play for you. And we got Cam as well. Cam coming in. I I've been playing with Cam for four years now. So Cam is just like the silent killer that's gonna lock somebody down and probably not make as many plays but his guy isn't going to catch the ball so I mean what what else can you ask from a corner like that so yeah I think like even with our corner group we're versatile as well as far as what what we need and you know the coach coach Hill and coach Guilford they're gonna it could help us put match us up on uh different receivers we play around the conference okay finally your coach told me that if he was put in a series right now in his current physical state speaking of coach Guilford yeah. He said, I could give you one elite high-level rep, and then I'm probably done for the rest of the game. He's like, right. maybe maybe three pretty good reps. Do you agree, you agree with that? He gets put in right now, one elite rep or, or three pretty good reps? One elite rep? Probably not. <laughs> elite. The word elite today is different than it was when he was playing. I think I think uh, he probably could get some good reps just because he's coaching it. Like he got a lot, a lot of wisdom, and he gonna know what he, uh, the techniques he's been coaching. But <laughs> elite is hard today. It's a lot of elite players out there, and it ain't easy. Yeah. Eddie, great to talk to you, man, and uh, good luck the rest of camp and into the season. Thank you. Thank you.